All right, welcome back to Autodesk Maya. In this tutorial, we're going to discover the uh, repo mode, uh, repo node in a MASH network. So I have this cool cube, which I created in a previous tutorial, and I'm going to add a couple other uh, simple primitives. I'm going to add a uh, cylinder and maybe a sphere. And each of these I'm going to hide. So I'm going to select the cylinder here and just hit Control-H to hide. Again, Shift-H is a hotkey to bring it back. Same with the sphere here, control H. And the cube, I can do the same thing, control H. So uh, to create our mesh network, I can select any of these. I'll select the cool cube here. Go to the FX uh, uh, drop down list here and choose mesh, create mesh network. And by default, it will create uh, a distribution node. And what I want to do is turn off the grid and show. Uh, uh, wireframe on shaded solid by clicking this little icon here so uh, right now you can see my cool cube here and let's go in the distribute node here and change it from linear to uh, I don't know spherical I mean it really doesn't matter it's just um we're gonna just swap these in a moment here I'm gonna add 300 just so you can see the variations here so um, what's really cool about the mash repo node which is made by default also it's right here you can swap out geometry pretty quick and easy. So if I want these cubes, these cool cubes, which I renamed to the cylinder, all I gotta do is hover over the cylinder, middle click and drag it and drop it in here. And now they're the cool cylinders. So what's really cool is we can swap out the geometry pretty easily. So let's try a um, the uh, sphere. I can, I can middle click and drag it and drop it into the objects and voila, now they're the spheres. So pretty cool and easy to do. The the mesh one repro node uh, by default it's number one because we have this for number one. But we can change the uh, level of geometry here, level of detail from geometry to bounding box, and this will help with performance issues. Uh, for example, if you have a, a slower machine like mine, my graphics card is not so great. So um, I can use as a sort of a placeholder, which is really nice. Uh, and basically swap back to geometry by dropping it down there. So, um, and of course you can check the box use GPU if you have that ability. Um, the rotation order and um, level of digital camera are fairly straightforward, but um, it's basically the geometry here is the main one that we want to switch between geometry and bounding box. And then we want to swap objects very easily. So again, if I want to drag that cool cube and replace it. I just got to middle click and drag and drop it in there. So that's a basic overview of the repro node in uh, for MASH objects in Autodesk Maya. Until next time, see you uh, soon. Cheers.